time to move on to the next discussion. Abia State, the home of the self-acclaimed leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, is currently on lockdown with heavy military presence. Now, this is following the launch of Operation Python Dance 2 in the state and the declaration by the Nigerian Defense Headquarters that IPOP is now a terrorist organization. But some Nigerians and indeed foreigners say the federal, should, federal government should stay its hand and uh, explore the option of dialogue. Well, could dialogue be an option to end the crisis in that region and end the struggle for Biafra? We'll try to get answers now. We have, of course, uh, lawyer Fred Nzeako in the studio with us to talk more uh, about this. And, of course, the option uh, of, of dialogue has been um, posited by many in the country. Good morning, first of all. Thank you for joining nice us to see on you. the show. Good, good morning. Yeah. Good morning. All right. Yes, uh, many people are calling for dialogue, that the federal government should dialogue with uh, IPOP. But then, uh, is it now even constitutional, before we go into the legality of prescribing the group, is it even constitutional now for the government to say, we want to dialogue with a banned group like hip-hop <laughs> i think it is um it is laughable because government has done has put the the, the horse before the cat simple government has done what it should first do is now thinking to do it later government has completely bungled this hip-hop thing on three very basic grounds one in the first instance it is not the duty of the military to handle internal internal protests because that is what i see ipop as internal protests it is not the duty of the military that means the police have been relegated to the background and that is the challenge and the thing we have been talking about for a very long time that the police should be enabled to do their work in the second instance it is not even now granted that the military is already there the narrative is extremely worrisome. Why would the military not adopt what I call um, psychology of communication? Why python dance? Python is a huge animal that lives in the forest. It gives the impression that the military had only gone there to swallow the people. Mm. You are in an amphitheater with a python. You end up being swallowed by the python. So, in the north, there is Operation Lafia Dole. What is Lafia Dole? That peace, peace must reign. Why wouldn't they adopt similar code name in the southeast? Why don't you adopt Operation Udo Kama? Why don't you adopt Operation Njikoka? Why don't you adopt Operation Anibofu? Meaning? Meaning, peace is supreme, unity is strength, mm. we are one. These are all names you can use. Mm. Why use that name, Operation? python dance you have already destroyed the psyche of the people the people the same people you have gone there to protect because you said according to elementary that they have gone there because of the of the of the security challenges in the southeast so you have gone there to protect the people of the southeast and you have massively massively destroyed their mentality so why adopt that name in the territory of Northeast, where there is massive uh, 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 terrorism, you adopted a, a benign name like Lafia Dole. In the Southeast, where there is no such challenge, mm. you adopt such a wide name like Python Dance. Egweke. The people, Egweke, the people oh, are, are, ter Egweke, that's people right. are terrorized. Okay. Now, the third mistake that the military has made, and which is the most terrible one, is codenaming and calling IPOP a terrorist organization. By all intents and purposes, it cannot stand. And that is why every well-meaning Nigerian, every well-meaning observer of Nigeria, the whole international community is shouting and saying, this is wrong. This is wrong. Anybody who does not see it as being wrong is only trying to flow with the tide. Government has created a field and filled that field with landmines and then expect players to go and play in that field. That cannot stand. So why branding IPOP a terrorist organization? And then in the words of the spokesman of the military, that they have stones, stones cocktails, uh, club sticks, and, and, uh, and uh, broken bottles, for goodness sake. Can that be 
tools of terrorism. Mm. And All then right. he said mm. that they, they, they do stop and search, and then they, they extort people. For goodness sake, can that be terrorism? So I think what happens is that the then, vice, the then uh, acting president, our own vice president, Professor Shimajo, when he said that hate speech could be equated with terrorism, we rose up and said, Oga, oh this is not right. And he had not stopped say, making that statement. It is on the basis of that that the military has now latched on and said, IPOP is a terrorist organization. So to brand somebody or a group terrorist is no longer uh, 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 heavy in the mouth of Nigerians. Okay, mm. because Let's, the yeah. leader of the country mm. has so done. And I want to believe that, I think he said that in the heat of the moment, under the excruciating desperation of the massive speech that is going on, especially in the social media, and I for once advise that the government should ignore most of those statements because many of them are not meant to be carried through. Okay. Now, uh, the, the military came up with uh, some of the reasons why the the, the had to term uh, uh, IPOB a terrorist organization. Whether that is right or wrong is not even the issue right now. But the point there is, they were talking about IPOB forming uh, a, the Biafra Secret Service, the BSS, which means that they now have a, a, a kind of a military, quasi-military arrangement. They have the Biafra National Guard, which, which is like a police for themselves. And they started talking about carving out, in fact, they've, they've named areas where the the, from the territory where it is called Biafra, as the Good. case may be. So when it comes to issues of that kind, yes. how would you have wanted the, the Nigerian government or the military, either through the military or directly, how yes. would you have wanted them to engage when uh, Namdi Kano was coming up with the, uh, an arrangement like that? Government, uh, look, there are so many. Government, government made Namdi Kano okay. to start with. And I say that with due sense of modesty. That a build, throughout the build-up of the 2015 election, mm. the attitude, the, 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 the utterances of Nam Kano made President Jonathan to lose the election. I have done a comparative analysis of the, of this gate, of the scores, of the electoral scores of Jonathan in 2011 and 2015, and then that of uh, President Buhari in 2011 and 2015. And it, the statistics have shown that in all these five core states where the Operation Python Dance is now dancing, in all the f five <laughs> core states, President Jonathan lost 20 something, that something, something percent of the votes he scored in 2011. And President Buhari gained, in some cases, up to 1,000 percent. Because the bulk of the people that would have voted for President Jonathan in 2015 stayed away on account of this Biafra thing. Can anybody begin to deny that there was no Biafra? It is a necessary denier. There was a Biafra. And Biafra had a territory. And that territory is still there. Yes, it is Nigerian territory. But, 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 the, but, Biafra, coming, coming. Coming. but Biafra ceased to exist. Biafra ceased to exist after the war, but not in the mind of those who are agitating for it. They okay. want it revived. We are not following that because a lot of us don't believe in that. We believe in restructuring of the polity based on equity, good governance, and, and justice. But the fact remains that if you say Enam the Kano and his group carved their territory, they never carved their territory. You don't cover a territory by word of mouth. They only mouth thin. They even went as far as going up to Kogi State. Mm. They can uh, even Benue State. Even Benue State. Mm. They can even include a kitty. Mm. That was mere mouth thin. Does that amount to anything? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't amount to anything. I can sit down here and say I will own America. But can we really say Does it that amount to anything? Can we really say it was mouth thin? Because there were some statements that are too, too sensitive that I cannot even uh, relay here. Yes. Uh, mentioning uh, the president, uh, what he would do to the president. I'm he sorry, had mentioned the, so many uh, unprintable words. Well, he has said, words, has said really. we know that. Yeah. We have said so many unprintable things. But then when you talk they about the sovereignty, uh, don't, the sovereignty uh, of a country as a lawyer, you know that it is universal. The sovereignty. If once any any actor yes. or any organization threatens yes. the sovereignty of a country, yes. that country has right. They say no right is absolute. Once you threaten the sovereignty there of a country, there is no country. way anybody can prove to me, as an inter as a scholar of international law, that you can threaten the sovereignty of a country by word of mouth. Never, you cannot. Formation of the BSS, Biafra uh, National Guard. Let me come to this. I'm coming to the issue of formation of BSS for, for and, Biafra, and Biafra National Guard. I'm okay. coming. The issue of have, has anybody in government investigated or confirmed? I saw the picture of the Brefa National Guard, a group of people that may have taken group photograph working with a, with a private security agency. Did you see any of them with even pen knife? Does the National Guard go empty-handed? 
Even our civil defense corps has a, an, a, an arm of Eastern civil defense, the, or, or an arm that, that, is, that is enabled to carry rifles. Have you seen even pen knife around the people that you call the Afrans? It's just the beginning. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's, it's just the so, beginning. No, the, I'm because coming. Because a lot of them are not even trained to, Those people, to be able to, I be able you, to uh, nobody, properly handle. Nobody has not investigated or confirmed that the images they saw, because it's all images, that the images they saw are not a group of people working with a private security organization All right. who took a group photograph. That but the, the defense, the, I'm, yet, the, I'm, yet, I'm yet to defense be spokesman. Defense the, spokesman yes. said that yes. before they went, before the military was deployed to yes. the east, yes. they had done their homework. They went in there, intelli they gathered enough intelligence for months yes. before they decided to deploy the military. It is so the, would, you, would you not believe... It is still, it is still Unam Dikano, yes. Unam yes. Dikano on, on, the, on the issue of the... Uh, VSS. He yeah. made a statement. Said that when Nigerians started condemning uh, the formation of VSS, he said that uh, the, the group was formed uh, to protect as a, as a vigilante. Exactly. He uh, said from, it was formed as a, as a vigilante protection. group. So meaning that truly IPOP formed the group. So it is a valid point uh, by the military saying that IPOP truly formed an illegal group against Nigeria. Look, when you form a group and you give it a name. A name that is higher and above what the group can act and do. Has the military come out to tell us, going by their intelligence, that they have seen any member of the group with a rifle? Should they wait till I'm that coming happens? now. Have they? Have they said, we saw these people with machete? We saw these people with a, with a jackknife? These are apparatus and apparati of military. None. If... Namdekano, look, what Namdekano is doing, because there is a, a, a failure of communication, Namdekano is only catching in on that. He is he's insulting everybody, virtually everybody. There is nobody that is spared from his insult. And I had earlier advocated that government should just pick this young man and try him for libel. Try him for, 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 for a criminal uh, 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 falsification of information. How about treason? I'm a, he's not never, never, and that is why government went and chose, chose the high wire case of treason. And that's why they couldn't go further. And they kept on the kind of for long in, the, in in detention. Somebody that was relatively unknown suddenly turned to become mm. a hero. Mm. It was government that caused it. And we said, why are you keeping him here? Against the law. So everything, most of the things that the government has done around IPOP has been illegal. Mm -hmm. Against right. the law and then not following due process. Okay. And that is why Virtually most people are not standing with government on this issue. All right. Yes, Fred. I don't stand with IPOP. Mm. I don't stand 100% against what they are doing. Mm. But as a Nigerian and as a respecter of law, I expect our government to show the way in respect for the rule of law. All right, mm. Fred, we, we are all uh, witnesses to even those who were not around or who are very young yes. who certainly know how the Rwandan genocide started. It yes. was the word of mouth. And it started until the broadcasting of, of uh, uh, hate speeches and, and all of that. Radio. And we, we mm. till today, yes. Rwanda is still trying to put itself together, mm. trying yes. to rebuild from yes. the genocide. Mm. The way Namdikano was going with his hate speeches and all of that, and even with the Radio Biafra, that he, he, he was able to bind the minds of a lot of people from the East and all of that. And, and today, a lot of people have really um, ideated with, with his, the way he stood or with his issues and, and whatever he has put forth, if that was let, uh, left to continue in that way, you don't think that uh, it would jeopardize the integrity of Nigeria? Mike, you don't know mm. the huge resources available to government. If you do, mm. you will understand what I'm talking about. Okay. I, I have a fair idea, but I don't even know 10% of the huge resources available to government. Why would government allow Radio Biafra to keep broadcasting for that long? Government has every opportunity to scramble and jam the frequency and it will come to nullity. Why didn't government do that? Why wouldn't government, that is on one side. Now, on the issue of, 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 of hate speech, yes, we know that hate speech is not good. And we condemn hate speech. IPOP is all not all about Nam Dekano. Why did government not do the needful? Why did not government not establish a fifth columnist in IPOP and use that to destabilize Nam Dekano. Why didn't government do that? And that's why I say that even the state governments of the Southeast are, are, are indolent. I'm sorry to use that word, but as far as IPOP is concerned, they have been terribly indolent because they speak the same language. 
It's very easy to infuse the fifth communist in IPOP. It's very easy now the country is not alone. What of all those men around him? Why don't you establish, why don't you throw up those men? Every man has an ego. By the time you throw them up, now the kind of ego will die down. Mm -hmm. And then these people that the government will throw up will check now the kind of, what is the job of intelligence, for goodness sake? So what are we talking about? These are things that facilities that are available to government, security vote, what is he doing in the hands of the governors? What have they done with it? With respect to IPOP. And then why have they allowed the thing to fester? This, this far. And then allow Nandi Kano to be insulting virtually everybody. How old is he? So majorly, I saw the Civil War as a boy in a boy's mm. company. And I can tell you for free that it is one thing I will never want for anybody in on earth. My good friend was working along with me. We were going to give information to Biafran soldiers as our boy's company. And then threat fell and killed him beside me. It could have been me. So why on earth will I allow anybody to continue to, to drag Nigeria on that path? But then, why did government allow such a huge marginalization of the Southeast? Why would government, uh, as, 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 uh, it's as if every successive government has, has a policy, a, a deliberate policy, state policy, of massively suppressing the Southeast, of denying deprivation well, and it, marginalization it of the Southeast. Friend. And that is what has allowed people who should like ordinarily not talk to talk. Okay, then, uh, Fred, let's. IPOP, yes, yeah, Soki, and then yes. the marginalization of, of the South. Deprivation. I prefer the word deprivation. Deprivation of the yes. South East, really. <laughs> but then, what about the leaders of the region, the governors over time? Many years. I've been to the East many times. Yes. And you, are, you would be alarmed what you see there, the erosion of the, of the place and the, almost inaction of the governments of all the states I, I, in the region. You could only pick like a state. Uh, going to uh, Abia by road uh, to a quiet bomb is a sorry story for anyone that has supplied that road. And it's like that for many years. Mm. Uh, go everywhere. So why have the where, leaders... Where does the ecological fund come from? Well, wait. Okay. Apart from that problem. Good. I'm talking about general infrastructure okay. or, uh, okay. program being put in place. So apart from the national issue, what about the leaders of the, of the region uh, doing the needful, first off, doing right by their people, and then they can go to the center and say that, you need to do this for us. But have they even hopped on the plight of their own people first off? Has for example, their inaction of what has been happening so far till now? Has anybody listened to them for the ones they hopped? Have them been very loud enough? I am sure they, they, would, they, would, they, would they overthrow government before you know that they are loud enough? <laughs> if they don't speak, what of the NGOs, what of the public analysts, the ones we speak, are we not Nigerians? Must I be a governor before government listens to me? How many times have I mentioned about this or second Niger Bridge? Have access no, I'm coming. I'm coming. How many times? Yes, but I have access to they talk have to access. the people. They have access. But by, they they use their by the time they speak and they are not listened to, oh. where does the ecological fund come from? Is it not from federal government? Certain problems in the Southeast are beyond the capacity of the state governments. Don't forget that when you go and look at the money accruing to the state, I'm not holding brief for them because a lot of them really don't perform. Hmm. Let Mark under, underline that. A lot of them don't perform. It is lack of performance of the governors and lack of performance of the people in authority that has allowed this thing to fester all this while. But now, as a component part of Nigeria, if the governors are not performing and you know that authority flows from the center, what has the center done to help the people? When people begin to argue that it is because of lack of appointment, it is not. It is because of lack of infrastructural development. It is because of lack of federal government presence. What does it concern the man in Abba, whether the man in, um, in Ebony is, the, is made a minister or made a, a, a pump sec or made anything? It doesn't follow. But what concerns him is that the so-called federal road around his place is not touched mm -hmm. for the past 50, 20, 20, 30 years. That is what concerns him. What concerns him is that there is no hospital in his environment. The one that he has, owned by the state, does not function. And then he goes elsewhere and he sees similar things functioning for others. What concerns him is that no money comes from, from the center for ecological fund. That can be issue, these can be issues that will worry the people. Not issue of, okay, well, my brother is not giving the minister, my brother is not giving the uh, uh, DG. Those are mundane. The core issues are the issues with the development of the people. Why what concerns him when he feels, he wakes up and feels that he cannot get employment simply because he's from this place? And then his friend from Sokoto, he, he scored better, goes for an interview, and he's, 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 he's taken. All so right. these are the things that worry him. Yeah, Fred, let, let's, let's, let's look at some uh, real issues here. From yes. 1999 until 2007, the office of the Senate president, which is number three when it comes to influence, when it comes to hierarchy, protocol in the country, rests 
from rest on the southeast, which means the Senate president, in fact, we saw from uh, Evans and Wereham to Okadibu and the others and all of that. And they were the heads of the Senate, the lawmaking body, and they had a lot of influence mm. and so on. In fact, we remember how powerful uh, Chubo Okadibu was, mm. that he, he first of all muted the, 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 the move to impeach the president at the time, even though he didn't succeed and all of that. Under the Jonathan administration, between 2011 and 2015, we saw how the administration was very friendly to the Southeast and all of that. We were thinking that at those bracket times, the Southeast would have been uh, all of those agitation, all of those issues that you, you, you use would the have, word would deprivation have would have been handled. Yeah. So do you think it's, it's, it's about the Nigeria against the Southeast or even those who, who come from the Southeast are not even... Uh, they don't, they, they're, they're not even doing the, what they're supposed to do. Mike, that's why I said earlier that it, it seems to the people that it is a state policy against the Southeast. We talked and talked and talked about Enugu on Nature Express Road under Jonathan administration and nothing was done. So, and that is why I don't believe in this thing, oh, my brother must be this, my brother must be that. What I believe in is that my people must have this. So do you because think, I'm should, should, uh, should, so, but, but, so, but let me add this before you. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, um, uh, an agency or a body like IPOB, do you think they should have originally started channeling that agitation to their leaders first, even before the Nigerian government? The IPOB had a different agenda. I don't, I, I don't hear their voice. Mm. But I can only feel their action, just like every other Nigerian can feel their action. From what I feel about them, they feel they would have looked at the Nigerian state since 1970 after the war, mm. and then looked at the environment since 1970 after the war, and up to this moment, and they would have felt a, a, a sense of, of, of uh, loss of confidence. And then that may have given them the impetus to say, let us be on our own. And then having heard that some other regions around the world are also pushing hard, and then having heard that United Nations can always enshrine in their charter that you have the right self for self-determination. Mm -hmm. And then with all these, they keep pushing. And then with government not handling the thing well, they keep pushing harder. That is why people have challenged government that if you had done what you should have done in the Southeast, it is the same brothers of this of Nam Kano and his group that will draw their ears and bring put them All right, down. let's bring in uh, Faladele at this time to tell us what uh, people are saying about it online. Good morning, mm. Faladele. Good morning, Aziza. Good morning, morning Fala. Nice to see you. Good morning, Fred. Lovely good good to morning. See you. All right, so let's get into the tweets. Ms. Kazola says, is it normal to kill stone throwing iPod members but dialogue and negotiate with Boko Haram? Can't you guys see something is seriously wrong? Kaede Ogundamisi says, in 2017, OBJ to Buhari, dialogue with IPOB in 1999, OBJ in bracket OPC, should be shot at sight. OBJ in November 1999, OBJ also mobilized army to Southwest. Olawoye says, but I don't subscribe to violence in Nigeria. Let the government dialogue with IPOB leaders and avert bloodshed. Enyafela Mo says, Boko Haram and IPOB have very little things in common. Boko Haram started and continued ki with killings. IPOB started with dialogue. Hmm. And, it, um, and the next one, sorry. Yeah, Razaku says, this was exactly what emboldened Boko, the mention of the word dialogue. Then we don't need police or army again now. Dialogue, shaking my head. All right, Fred, let me quickly come to you on this one. You spoke about mouthing earlier. Yes. Now, sometime last month, um, Nam Dikanu personally signed um, a statement that said that um, um, pro-Biafra agitators will continue to use civil disobedience as a weapon against the government. Now, fast forward to this, this month, where this week we hear that seven members of IPOB are allegedly, well, are in court um, um, over alleged cases of murder, of breach of um, security, of property destruction. Do you still think they're mouthing, like you put it? Wouldn't you have uh, assumed that those seven were charged falsely? You wouldn't you wait until the court pronounced them guilty, mm -hmm. having gone through the due trial of the court before we conclude that they had... Is a case of calling a dog a bad name in order to hang it. Hang it. Okay, so if truly they are guilty, would you still say that they were mouthing? Would you still say that they were just calling the, the government's if, bluff? If, that is if. Okay, so but if. But if they are not. But if they are. 
If you're not. not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you see how beautiful the law is? <laughs> yes. You know, uh, you can tilt this way and the other way. If they're yes, not. Yes, but Fred, <laughs> I have said there won't be an election in November. So, well, we have to wrap it up because of yes, time. Yes. Uh, so, that is something against the group anyway. Yes. Thank you very much, Fred mm. and Ziafo. Fred and Ziafo, uh, thank you. You're a lawyer <laughs> and you, you proved it. So, <laughs> honestly, thank you very much for your analysis. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Well, when it comes to iPub uh, mm. discussions, it's really very interesting, I must Indeed. say. Thank you very much. Mm.